Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be taking a look at George Gross Covered. Now this is the latest book from New Texture and it's part of the Men's Adventure Library and it's uh, edited by Robert Dice and Wyatt Doyle. Okay so we'll get straight in and this is the bit of background, the cover story. This is an introduction by the editors and then we've got um, a Definitive History of George Gross uh, by David Saunders, and it explains his early uh, work in the pulp mags there, um, some of his other uh, pre-men's adventure work, so this is uh, some of his American football covers, and then that's the artwork, and then the later finished, finished jackets. He also uh, did some Western pulps, as you can see over there. Now, uh, Mort Kunstler, who is still around, uh, they sort of shared a studio, and for a while, George Gross was like uh, a peer of Mort Kunstler's, and he sort of showed in the ropes. And you can see um, very similar styles between those two artists, in actual fact. Now, uh, this is quite interesting. This is Mort Kunstler's um, picture of George Gross, which is that's there. And he then uses that um, for the 1956 issue of Men. So it was just a reference photo. And um, this is another one there. So this is a uh, Walt Kunstler was um, uh, he was uh, commissioned to uh, um, illustrate and publicise the new novel by Men's Adventure magazine editor and writer Mario Puzo. And uh, these were the first depictions anywhere of characters from The Godfather. So for the record, the first person to portray Don Corleone was George Gross, and there he is. There, who'd have thought it? <laughs> now here's a, a look at a little gallery here and this is a lot of the the artwork covers that were done and then reused so man's illustrated into showdown for men and um likewise sometimes the artwork was was flipped over it was reversed often years apart could be like 10 years apart but the artwork was often reused um cheekily by the magazines then we go into chronologically so starting at august 55 and november 55 we work our way through George Gross's men's adventure covers here and they are truly fantastic and uh, I shall zoom through these because there's a lot to look at. This is a beautiful hardback and these are printed in full colour so uh, you really get to soak in the quality of the artwork and you have to sort of remember that back in the day these had to look Really, really, they had to really grab the attention because it would be on the news rack full of other magazines and these needed to be the ones that were picked up. I mean, just look at that. A chap pulling the tarantulas off his potty. <laughs> Fantastic. But they weren't all, you know, uh, animal related. There was lots of war stuff. Um, later on, you'd have like the, the ladies, the scantily clad ladies. That one you might recognise um, from a previous Men's Adventure Library cover. Um, I watched the Meet Me Alive. As I said, lots of sort of war-related ones as well. These are 1957 here now. And the level of detail really is quite something. Just crazy. Really, really crazy. I often wonder how long it takes the artists to, you know, get all the different elements put into the cover and then to finally paint it. It must be, uh, you know, even... A professional artist it must take them some time i just love to know quite how long it did take them it's a great one there i really like that one now this particular edition that we're looking at this is like the deluxe hardback one it's a real coffee table book um, but it does also come in as in the cheaper um softback version the same dimensions but in softback uh, which is a bit cheaper on the wallet these are fantastic and this really is a keeper isn't it and you can see the level of um, quality um, these I believe have come from editor Bob Dice's men's adventure library collection and it's uh, a fantastic collection it's a whole room full and it's one of the best uh, in private hands still the tail end of the 1950s here and I guess you could say these are like his heyday but just the details fantastic it really is quite something. And I love how we go along. Um, the covers seem to be getting busier. So there's more and more elements being added in. I mean, look at this. There's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's about 10 different characters painted on that one jacket there, on that one co um, cover, which is really, really something, isn't it? Must have just meant a lot more. Look at this. I mean, that is almost reminiscent of a cinema quad. 
isn't it when you think about it um look all these different individual people that would have to be rendered and uh and painted on fantastic that was august 1960 good likeness of uh montgomery there the british general or field marshal i should say field marshal montgomery mccarthy this is the valor annual and that was that cover art was previously used it says for battlefield february 1957 so if they do know where the artwork had been previously used, they do mention it, which is pretty cool, so that you're not seeing double. <laughs> Great use of perspective there. Look at that hanging out the bus. That's brilliant, isn't it? Well, you get the idea. This is a, a great, great book, and I'm only about just over halfway through. So there's a lot to see here and lots to enjoy and really sort of take in. Now these uh, original magazines are obviously going for good money these days. They're quite collectible. Um, and we hardly ever saw them in the UK. A handful came over, but not in any sort of real numbers. So they're very scarce in the UK and getting scarcer all the time in America. So this is a great way to enjoy these great, great bits of artwork. Absolutely fantastic. Now, the best way to buy this is probably direct from pulpmags.com, which is Bob Dice's own website, and you've got the complete men's adventure library available there. You can go to New Texture's website and buy them direct from the publisher. And of course, these are readily available through Amazon. And I'll put links to all of that in the description box down below. So if you want to uh, grab your own copy of this, this little beauty, just head on into the description and uh, you'll find all the appropriate links there. Thanks very much to uh, the publishers for sending me over yet another addition to the Men's Adventure Library. I'm getting quite a collection now, and uh, I've got to admit, for something that I'd hardly even acknowledged five years ago, I'm really getting into these. They're fantastic. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to uh, give the video a thumbs up, and of course subscribe if you've not already for regular Men's Adventure content. There's lots on the way. Always new stuff being published at the moment. And here's a little biography of the two authors. Fantastic stuff. Great. And look, look at the rest of the library. There's loads to dig into. Loads of the, lots of these you'll recognise. Great, great stuff. And highly, highly recommended.